It was a sight full of wonder and awe. The vast swells of the omnipotent sea. The surging hollow roar they made as they rolled along the eight gunnels like gigantic bowls in a boundless bowling green. Early 70s, there was, there was 30, 35 scrim shanders here on Nantucket. They're all gone now. Scrimshaw is a traditional American art form. It's actually the only art form that was indigenous to the U.S. And it, it started with the Yankee Whalers back in the 18th and 19th century. You've got 29 or 30 guys sitting on a, on a, on a ship with a lot of, as I said, downtime. Somebody got the idea to scratch away on this canvas, which was the tooth. I mean, there are log books where they say, all hands are busy scrimshanting. for almost a half a century. <laughs> Remember Fran Howard? Oh, yeah. The seven Cs, when they used okay. to be five to 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, she used to sell them by size. Use. And they have a great, they got the old great, prices on them. Yeah, yeah, and a great age look. Good for teeth. Here's a tooth here. I bought that from the late Charlie Sale, who was a famous scrim shander. He passed away 25 years ago. And I bought all his teeth. To be working on one of their teeth is an honor. And they are valuable things because, they, you know, you, what it took to get this tooth. have a story. You know, that whale had a story. I wish I knew it, but you can make up your own story. Death to the living. Long live the killers. Success to sailors' wives. And greasy luck to whalers.